Hey, what's up, everybody? What's up, YouTube? And I'm better with another video I'm going to talk about today for this, um, you know, sad morning I'm going to do for y'all. Okay, the topic I want to talk about today is why is um, Montgomery has the highest crime rate? My title I'm going to talk about today is why does Montgomery has the highest crime rate? The video I want to, you know, discuss about why my city Montgomery has the highest crime rate and why it is keep on increasing, you know. The video I'm gonna give you all my reason why on why, you know, they got you know I might um I said why the you know my city has the highest crime rate, so okay. Okay my Okay then Montgomery has the highest crime rate back in the day. Uh, like people who um you know like I see that has the highest like crime rate like on um, you know parts of city got a lot of crime you know but but government has the highest crime rate and how like my city keeps on you know being a you know like um I said my government is like a good city to uh, uh, live but sometimes my city can be violent you know it be kind of be more like um you know more type of um. Yeah, I believe it'd be parts of the city, like parts of the neighborhoods, you know, there'd be more poverty, street neighborhoods, and how each neighborhood can be violent, you know, on how they you know, on how each neighborhood can be much um you know, I said neglected towards jobs, towards um, you know, development, but like um my government do have a lot of, you know, have a serious crime rate down here because it's more about how, you know, on how Kids can kids down here and how adults get involved in some stuff, you know, like and the kids you can kill um hold on. I say kids are probably about eight to nineteen or if seventeen, you know, getting killed by by older kids, like um like kids getting killed uh killed by teenagers, but like some of these um young kids out here just, you know, some dog on the guidance, some just doing stuff in streets like reckless stuff like, you know, robbing folks. Stealing people's um stuff, you know, how they're doing, you know, a lot of things in the neighborhood. Like, some of these, these people are, you know, some of them doing the killing is basically young people, though. Like, some young people, basically, Montgomery is doing the younger, um, you know, basically doing the whole thing, you know, like killing people, like, um, like killing people. Like, some of these young people nowadays is, you know, some don't have no things to do. Like, you know, Montgomery doesn't have a lot of things to do, like, um, you know. Basically, in the city wise, you know, like, my government does have, uh, I said, my government does not have a lot of things to do for young people to do, like, um, you know, to, you know, I get in trouble, you know, but like, um, I said, my government do have a crime rate towards, like, robbery, um, burglary, aggravated assault, um, murder, um, you know, sex crimes, and on top of stuff, like, you know, Montgomery, um, my city, I've been, you know, raised here, you know, all my life, but like, um, you know, my city has changed for a while, you know, for, yeah, yeah, I say it changed for the bad, you know, for, you know, basically crime rate, you know, uh, you know, how the killer can be with towards violence, you know, like, um, yeah, some people can kill, it's basically young people can kill, you know, like, some of these, these, um, kids probably in their late teens or early 20s, you, uh, you know, some of the kids are doing a lot of stuff, you know, but, um, yeah, I do believe it's not at home, you know. Yeah, I believe a child should learn how to, you know, learn, um, you know. I still learn how to be productive, though, and learn how to, um, you know, do things. I still like using violence, you know, or I say, you know, I still like using type of, um, violence to, it was causing to be descriptive, you know, but, but I do believe that, you know, dogs should, you know, Basically, raise kids right, you know, to be good people, though, you know, or good kids, you know. But I think the dogs nowadays, yeah, some of them just don't want their kids right. Like, some some kids I heard just, you know, raise, I still have a father or mother in a home. Like, some of these kids is, you know, you know doing wild stuff, you know, they cause them to, you know, I guess, got to worry and get the type of fashion from their, um, you know, Older heads, 
you know, somebody who probably, um, you know, probably in their 30s or something, like, some of these younger kids nowadays is, you know, basically growing up in a father in home, you know, trying to, like, show them the route, you know, to, you know, make the route better for them to take, like, I guess some of these young kids who just don't, you know, know better, but, like, um, yeah, as advised, my city can be, you know, higher because it'd be, um, more young people who basically, you know, doing the killing nowadays is basically, like, kids who are probably in their, um, late teens or early twenties, you know, or probably high school, you know, but, yeah, I think it's about how, like, you know, some kids don't have no father at home, you know, trying to guide them through the right direction, but, like, once you're in the streets and once you're doing stuff like this, Mr. that you're a lack of something. It's a father figure. And my grammarly in my city, you know, has like kids who grew up, you know, without dads in the home or, you know, some people don't know how to um, raise kids right because it's about on how to basically grow up in an environment to where they see a lot of things like drugs, um, violence, and murder. And how my grammar is a place to where you, you know, to where. Kids gonna see like um things in life, you know. I like drug dealers and um, you know, game bangers, you know, but like Montgomery is a place to where, you know, you wanna see like things going on based in the West Side area, you know. Myself, I used to live in the West Side area, you know. But West Side is more violent, more about how like, you know, how the West Side area is kinda different from the part of town, like the West Side area could be like killing, murder, drug dealers, and how, like, the kids kind of, you know, basically trying to grow up in an environment. You know, I said where they see a lot of things happening in the streets, like, you know, murder and robbery, but and killing. Like, Montgomery, you know, it's a place that myself, uh, myself, I'm on a race, and, you know, yeah, I still love my city, but, like, Montgomery is kind of more. You know, or to a top, um, highest, um, city for murder, like, um, yeah. I said Birmingham, Montgomery is, you know, is both cities, you know, and, uh, Atlanta is the highest right, a crime rate, though. Like, Atlanta is, you know, basically at the highest crime rate, it like Atlanta, Montgomery, and Birmingham. And one of these people is, you know, basically convicted felons, like, some of them are doing the crime is basically convicted felons, you know. Somebody been in jail for probably ten years and they got out, you know, you know, they're doing time for murder. Like some of these crime is happening are because these people, you know, got out of prison or jail and they, you know, kinda kinda went back to the streets, you know, you know, to do violence stuff. Like these people basically Montgomery is basically through the felons, you know, or they've been in jail before, or they, you know, they got a lot of things on them. Like, these people, you know, on screen, you know, I said been arrested for a lot of things, like, like thefts, um, you know, robbery, murder, you know, um, property crimes. Like, Montgomery got a lot of property crimes, you know. So when you see a lot of things, like theft going on, like, folks, it's sitting from people's houses, like, you know, I said, Montgomery got a lot of theft, um, you know, a part city got a lot of thugs, you know. Somebody who still stuff from a store or homes and you know, on how Montgomery got a lot of um, you know, people who just don't love to learn and listen. I don't know, but like <laughs> yeah, Montgomery got a lot of, you know, crime rate though, like um the lowest crime rate ever is basically in those um country towns, like um, you know, parts of the city got a lot of crime, like um yeah, I think the city is got more crime versus the um country, you know. People living in the country, like, you know, the country does not have a lot of crime, but the highest crime rate, you know, basically, like, in city living, like, yeah, folks live in big cities, like, some things happen in big cities, like, um, versus the small town, country areas, you know, but, like, and Montgomery got a lot of, you know, crime, because it's more about on, basically, best neighborhood they from, or which town they part town they from, you know, which can have a lot of, um, killing going on, but, like, Montgomery, you know, I, you know, lived through my life, you know, you know, but and Montgomery does have a crime issue because it's about how people don't want to, you know, do right though, and how they don't do right means that people is going to, like kids are going to look out to the, um, you know, 
basically, basically Big Jordy on the corner, or basically somebody who you know, you know, doing life in prison. Like kids grew up watching these these um you know rap videos and those rappers. We talk about killing them, you know, their own brother or send dope to their own family. But like these people might you know want to basically you want to look at it, the rappers as being a role model too. And like some of these kids, you know, watch movies, watch um you know music videos by how how they're watching movies by how you know on how they're watching um. Movie like Scarface or you know they uh those movies about talk about how how they are talking about George Lee's on how they send you know seduce their own own um community though and what I do believe that, yeah but I do believe that people is very much you know a product of environment you know once you in the hood means that your product means that you became a product of your own environment. Like folks who raised in the hood, folks who raised in the uh, ghettos in the old slums areas, like they are a product, you know, based on based on the environment they're from. Like you know, <laughs> I said, I don't kill you from the hood, the suburbs. Means that you're gonna be a product of your environment. You think you see in the streets, like you know the um, you know then you see in the streets like murder, killing going on. Like my government do have a crime, um, problem to see like. Yeah, the cops trying to, uh, you know, trying to prevent things happen to their families. Like, um, yeah, some of them family, you know, lost a kiss of gun violence, and some families lost, you know, their loved ones to, um, to violence, to you know, things of like that can be the problem. Montgomery, like, you know, Montgomery do have a type of, um, you know, unity though, but sometimes it gets overshadowed by the crime. You know, part of the crime can have a lot of, um, you know, issues towards. You know, um, poverty, um, you know, lack of jobs, lack of money going on. But, like, um, Montgomery do have a crime issue because it depends on how people don't want to, you know, you know, do right to set their own differences. You know, I said about using a gun or using type of, type of, um, threats. And like, and, and, but I do people got to learn on, you know, learning how to use different things to use different methods. To you know, I still think gun violence happening, but so yeah, I man, Montgomery in my city, you know, you know that I want to raise them, but I love my city to death. But like you know, the violence kind of you know kind of separates from you to though, but so I just so so make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. So and probably probably um later on. So peace. Peace, I'm out here. Take care.